music history. I can still see Debbie Harry leaning over a stone wall in a city I knew was Paris or Rome or anywhere away from that place in the hills I was sewn to. The Tide is High was the first record I bought with my own money. My allowance stashed in a can beneath the bed where my father used to store his rifles. My music collection grew like a white lie. The splashy covers sliding off shiny discs that were larger versions of buttons I could never fasten. I stacked pennies on the arm to keep the record from skipping while I posed like the Go-Go's on their water skis. Hairbrush, a microphone in hand, one foot on a pillow singing vacation, had to get away. Or nobody home and music loud enough to hear in the bathroom. I was the king of pain knowing more than anyone what sting meant, because I too was inside the rain of my shower with the circling world running round my brain. Tonight, I could go on like this, singing fragments of tunes, a kind of permission for a way to be behind the wooden door of my room. But then I'd have to tell how memory plays those records the day Stephen Combs called me faggot on the bus and I smuggled Dad's pistol to school to kill him. The day my mother caught me wearing her lipstick and wouldn't speak to me for weeks. The time Jason told his mom that I made him take his pants down and lie on the ground beside me. I'd rather stay here in the spotlight, in an empty house with a hairbrush and a box of music. Years before the pennies skipped off, the records were scratched and lost in the world in that room stop spinning.